My name is Sarah Tolga, and I'm going to demonstrate how to obtain different frequencies using electrical metallic tubing, EMT, which is also known as electrical conduit. First off, it's important to understand that the pitch or frequency is not determined by a vibrating column of air inside a tube, as would be the case, for example, with a set of panpipes. Rather, the frequency of a tube is determined by the vibration of the metal tubing itself. Having said that, let's look at some of the properties of this tubing that affect the way it vibrates. Of course, there are a number of properties that we can't change. Properties inherent in the composition process, like the density of the tubing, the elasticity of the material, and the material's resistance to uniform compression. However, there are two factors we do have control over, the diameter we choose and the length we decide to cut each individual tube. In terms of diameter, the two most popular varieties are half inch and three quarter inch. Basically, half inch tubing is lower and three quarter inch is higher. It might seem a bit counterintuitive, but actually tubing with a smaller radius vibrates at a lower pitch or frequency. To demonstrate this, I have two tubes, both of which are the same length. In this case, 20.5 inches or 52.3 centimeters. The 3 quarter inch diameter tube produces a pitch C5 at 522 hertz. While the half inch diameter tube with its smaller radius produces a musical fourth below or G4 at 392 hertz. So by selecting the diameter of your tubing, you can choose a lower or higher range of notes that your instrument will play. In addition to diameter, you can also change the length of a tube to arrive at a desired frequency. That is, if you know what is called the frequency ratio. It's like the mathematical equivalent to a musical interval. For example, let's start with a tube length of 74.5 centimeters, which we know produces middle C on a piano, C4, or 261 hertz. If we want to arrive at the F above middle C, which would be a musical fourth above, we would use the formula original length or 74.5 centimeters divided by the square root of the frequency ratio. For a musical fourth, that would be four thirds. The new length would then be 74.5 centimeters. If we want to arrive at a full octave above middle C, we would derive its length by taking the original length, or 74.5 centimeters, and then dividing it by the square root of the frequency ratio. For an octave, that ratio would be 2. The new length would be approximately 52.7 centimeters. So, by knowing the frequency ratio and using this formula, we can accurately calculate the length for any desired pitch using electrical metallic tubing.